All right, today's just going to be some more uh, horseshoe art. Uh, using some more scrap metal bits. Got this little piece here. And I'm thinking it might make the center of a horseshoe flower. So we'll see how it turns out. What you see me doing here is trying to find the right horseshoes to make the flower. They're used horseshoes, random assortment, so there's different styles and different sizes. And I was trying to find um, ones that were approximately the same size to make a decent round flower out of. Uh, I wanted the center to be somewhat, you know, close to the size of the centerpiece I had. And then I had to cut the little uh, tabs off of all of the horseshoes. And I'm looking at it, and I start thinking, what about a second row here? Second row of horseshoe petals. Now you'll see me go through again, I'm sorting them, trying to find a fairly matched set of larger horseshoes. The first ones were smaller in size, and then the next ones were slightly larger to look like a larger set of outer petals. And I've already wire brushed and cleaned out the, the stuff out of the, the horseshoes here. Now I'm trying to get that larger outer set lined up as best as I can so that I can uh, weld them together. Didn't like the alignment here, so I'm cutting the tack to do an airway. As you can see, I'm getting the most use out of that little cutoff wheel that I can. <laughs> it's tiny by this point. That's stage one. Right, this is me trying to line up the inner set of petals. And they're gonna be slightly 3D, so they're going to be angled uh, in towards the center. Which made the... Uh, I didn't couldn't think of a good way to brace them up in that shape that I wanted and be able to weld the bottoms. I didn't want welds showing on the top, so I'm welding them through the clamping slots in the weld table from underneath. Just putting these tack welds in to hold them exactly where I want them. Then I'll pull it out, flip it over, and do the, the finished welds.
I didn't show it, but I uh, painted that centerpiece, as you can see there, uh, it, into a flat black. And we're going to leave the patina on the, the horseshoes. Eventually, I may clear coat it, but for this point, it's not going to be clear coated yet because I want to, the parts I had to grind, I want to get their patina back. Um, so it'll be left out. Get the, the patina back on it, get a little rust started again, and then I will decide whether I'm going to clear coat it or not. So far. And that, uh, the centerpiece had a couple of little tabs on it. I'm welding a piece that goes across between those tabs wide enough so that I can set it in place and weld to the, the horseshoes. And I was trying pretty hard to get it in a position so that you couldn't see those weld, the tabs that, that were holding it. Uh, while it's hanging on the wall. Okay. It needs clear coat now, but that's basically all we've got today. I know I didn't talk much during this one, but 